celebrate this sacred Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with, with your spirit. spirit. As we begin now this sacred liturgy, we first take a moment to call to mind our own sinfulness, and ask the Lord for his mercy, his pardon, and his peace. Lord Jesus, you are a mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are a merciful, but always a just judge. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon each one of us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our everlasting life. Oh, 
Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know, know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them. Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I, shall I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The, the Lord, Lord is my shepherd, my shepherd. There, there is, is nothing I shall, I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for his name's sake, even though I walk in the dark valley. I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and staff that give me courage. The, the Lord, Lord is my, my shepherd. shepherd, there is there nothing is I shall want. want. You spread the table before me, in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The, the Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to, you, for to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross, so that, free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Lord be with you. And your Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice. As the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all of his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The night was foggy and very stormy. And the ship's captain saw what looked like the lights of another ship heading straight toward him. He immediately had his signal man blink to the oncoming ship. Change your course 10 degrees north. The reply came back, you change your course 10 degrees south. Well, the captain himself then signaled, I'm the captain of this ship. Change your course to the north. To which the reply came, I am an ensign, first class, and I repeat, change your course to the south. Well, by now the storm is at its height, the captain is infuriated, and he signals, I command you to change your course due north, for I'm standing on the bridge of the mightiest warship in the United States Navy. To which came the reply, and I respectfully ask you again to change your course due south, for I'm standing in the Point Judith Lighthouse. 
During this mighty COVID-19 storm that is personally swirling around each one of us and collectively around our country and our world today, it can appear that Jesus is silent in the midst of all the noise and absent in the turmoil around us. But if we only just pause, pause to hear, if we really work to listen, the voice of the Good Shepherd can be heard in the midst of this global trauma and turmoil, speaking to each of us in the quiet of our hearts, pointing out the path away from the dangerous rocks, obstacles, and lighthouses. The captain in that little story thought he knew the best way to guide his ship to safety, but he was blinded by the storm. As Jesus, the Good Shepherd, reminds us in our Gospel of today, He is the way who will guide us to safety. He is the way that leads us to our Father. As each one of us now attempt to navigate life's twists and turns during this pandemic, the voice of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, can always be heard if we only stop to listen. To listen with faith, to listen with hope, and to listen with love. So may God protect each one of you. And until we meet again next week, May God hold you in the palm of his hand. In one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified with Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and 
glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And let us now humbly place our prayers before the Lord. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all men and women in leadership positions in the Church, that the Holy Spirit may inspire and guide them during this time of crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are ill due to the coronavirus, that the healing power of the Holy Spirit may rest upon them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all doctors, nurses, and medical professionals, that they may know God's protection and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, that they may rest in the peace of Christ and their families know the consolation of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these and all of our prayers which we make this day. In the name of Jesus, your Son, who is our Lord and God forever and ever. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And Lord, accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of the name, for our good and the good of all of the Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewed, the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us. In Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, 
and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas and Robert, our bishops, and all the clergy. And remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her beloved spouse Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we too may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Supper of the Lamb.
And until we meet again next week, may all truly be well with your souls. Now let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. And may the Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The Mass has ended. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks.